Hi there, St. Luke's, and welcome again to Church News. Thank you for partnering with us in Gospel Growth this week. Now, you can give using the bank details on our church's website or using the cash box in the foyer. And as you give, remember this promise from Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 32. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Well, today we're drinking coffee and milkshakes for our mission partnership with Hatsia, supporting Christian education in our local high schools. You can find out more about Hatsia at our mission partner wall in the church foyer. One of our three church values is prayerful dependence. And we would love to see everyone at St. Luke's showing their dependence on our Heavenly Father by their praying. And so every Sunday, we meet to pray and we would love you to join us. The prayer meetings will start about half an hour after each gathering ends. We've started having dinner together each week after our 5 p.m. gathering. And if you like eating with St. Luke's friends or just don't want to cook on a Sunday night, you're welcome to join us. Just a reminder that registrations for CMS Summer School are now open. Summer School is a great week in the Blue Mountains of Bible teaching and having our eyes focused again on the need for a whole world to know Jesus. And if you want to register children and young people into their programs, CMS have asked that you register as soon as possible. Finally, our Shift Youth Group will be heading off to kick at the end of this month so that they can grow in their biblical saturation and spend a great weekend away together. This year, they'll be learning about joy from the book of Philippians. Here's a little bit more about the Kick Conference. How do you feel about being the most popular person on camp? Exactly what I thought. How are you feeling about your choice of pink donut? So good, pink all the way. Yeah, was there any doubt in your mind or was it only pink? I searched for the pink ones, no doubt, absolutely not. How did you feel, first bite of the pink donut? Oh. So good. <laughs> Out of 10, what would you give it? 10. You camp in one word. Amazing. <laughs> Fun. Um, amazing. Good. Amazing. Donuts. Yes! Awesome. Uh, no sleep. But it's That's two fun. words. Joy. Fun. It's nice. Enjoyable. Fellowship. What is camp? What is the weekend? And what, why are you running away from this? Yeah, floor up! 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 Uh, we're here with Jamboree Anglican where they control the action. Uh, can you just tell me, what is a highlight from this weekend? I've uh, really enjoyed the singing and all the music. Yeah, that's been really good. Pretty cool seeing everyone, like 2,000 people just stand up singing. Praising God was like really amazing. And what is one thing that you're going to take away from this week and what's something that you've learned? Um, I've learned to, to talk to other people and um, be a partner with them in the in the gospel and um, have a partnership with other Christians. Yeah, I learned that, I never looked at like our relationship with God like when you have a child and you love them unconditionally. I never thought, like, I always kind of thought that we kind of had to do something, but to just know that God loves us unconditionally is just really amazing and yeah. Awesome, thanks for your time, boys. Would you join us in asking our Heavenly Father to give them a safe weekend filled with joy and gospel relationships and a deepening trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, we're so glad that you could join us today. And don't forget the good news, St. Luke's, that Jesus is the loving King and Saviour of all peoples.